All right, so I had a few people asking how I made my kitten collar, because everyone knows kitten collars are hard to find, they can be expensive. So, I'll show you how I just got a normal cat collar into a kitten collar for this little girl right here. And then afterwards, I will also show you about the buckles, how to change a regular buckle into a breakaway one or vice versa. So, first you're just gonna need to get a regular collar. I just got this from the Dollar Tree, which is all toasty, just has the blue one. Um, see it's like this, you know. All you're gonna do is shorten it. So see right here, where it's all together, you're just gonna take some scissors and cut it. There. Now we got that, and then we have these. And then you are going to just do, glue it back together pretty much. So, put the D-ring back on and then put the buckle on. Gonna wanna go through the top of the buckle like that. And then what you are going to do is shorten it to however big you need it. So you want to have it so that the tightest setting would fit your kitten perfectly because it's going to grow, it's not going to get any smaller. So once you, you know, find the good length, you need your kitten to measure, who knows what Toasty's doing. Um, but then once you find a good length, like, um, we're just going to say this fit good. Then you're going to take... We got the D-ring and the buckle in there. Um, some of them have, you know, the D-ring and the buckle in separate parts, and you can do that too, you know, just kind of leave a little gap. But you're going to cut off the excess of the collar. All this stuff, we don't need that. We're just going to cut it off. Make sure you have, you know, a little tail. And then what you're gonna do is either take some super glue, which is what I always do because I'm lazy, or you can also just do needle and thread. And then you're going to put it back together. So there's the glue. And there we go. And just hold it for a minute till it dries. La la la. And then you have a king collar. Nice and little, but it's still super cute. Has the bell and everything. And then, yeah, should fit the kitten good then. And then also another thing is breakaway. Because you always want your cats with breakaway collars or I actually had a cat that would constantly lose his collar. And just after, it was about 15 minutes after you put it on, he uh, figured out how to unbuckle it. So I had to turn them into non-breakaway collars. So, as you see with this one I have, it's not breakaway. It's stuck. And this just, if you look at it, that's because, you see the prongs there? See how there's that little lip? So it actually goes over. That lip right there is what stops it. So if you want to make it break away, you're gonna just grab a nail file and you are just going to file that down until that thing is rounded. Like see how now the top is more rounded, the bottom still has that. You're gonna make sure you do that to both sides. See how they're both rounded like that? And now, when you put it together, it's breakaway. And this one, this one's still kind of hard on the top, so then you're gonna wanna, you know, file it down a little bit more. And then, back together, and now it's breakaway. Like I said, in that, if you want it to be easier to get apart, you wanna round it more, if you want to make it not break away or make it, you know, harder to get apart, 
you're going to want to try to make that little lip. So you're going to want to take the nail file kind of in this way and try to file that down so you kind of comes in a little bit and it sticks out like an arrow more of. And then that's also a super easy trick. Sorry. Super easy trick. You can use dog collars on your cats because a lot of times there's so much more variety and they're a lot cheaper a lot of times. So, but yeah, that's how you can make any kitten a, their own collar. And then you can also make any buckle a breakaway buckle. All right. Sorry the video was kind of crappy, but hope I was able to help you. <laughs>